Hello everyone, I'm Cool Guy. welcome back, and today we have an upload to the 5 Minutes of Frame series. When I review weapons, they usually go in depth. Perks, usage, fall off distances, and more. Some gear though, don't need that. Sometimes they have glaring weaknesses, sometimes they only have one or two good things about them. And this series gives these weapons their 5 minutes of fame in the spotlight, and we talk about exactly what you need to know about them in or around 5 minutes. Today's video is about the 2 burst aggressive burst sidearm, the smuggler's word. There's really only one good way to use this thing, and we'll discuss that in a bit. And you don't see these at all. You don't see them used, you don't see them talked about. You kind of ask yourself, they're in the game, but are they really in the game? Way back when, we had two of these drop, the kinetic smuggler's word and the energy death by scorn. And we are talking about Smuggler's Word today because it's literally better in every category stat-wise than Death by Scorn. Better range, stability, aim assist, reload, handling, all of it. The Scorn doesn't have random rolls either. With these though, around the same time, shotgun, snipers, fusions got dropped into players' hands. And you have to ask yourself, would these have gotten a fair shake otherwise if, let's say, we had a double primary system? Would these be useful even then? And the answer is, kinda. These are 325 RPM, it shoots out two rounds in one burst, and you don't see these in PvE at all. This is going to be mostly PvP centered for this video. In PvP, they do 45 to the head and 33 to the body. It's time to kill is a give take. It has the slowest optimal time to kill at 7.3 seconds. That's with three crits and two body shots, but it has the best body time to kill out of all sidearms at 0.83 seconds. The thing to take away is that it's a three burst kill, three shots at two apiece, and it never should really be more than that when you're using it. Always look for a three burst kill. For the sights, it has six options. The two that you want to be looking for are Control SAS and Short Spec SAS, and that's actually the ones that are on mine. For the mag tier, we have eight options. The ones to look out for are ricochet rounds, high caliber rounds, and light mag. In the first node, we have moving target, quick draw, threat detector, under pressure, outlaw, and full auto. Your top four are going to be under pressure, quick draw, full auto, and moving target. The second node, we have kill clip, rampage, rangefinder, tap the trigger, zen moment, and opening shot. And here's where I make my recommendation for these to work out for you in the Crucible. You have to think, the TTK is a 3 burst kill. It's got a good body shot time to kill, the best in class body shot time to kill. But for this thing to be really viable, you want kill clip. That's the only thing I recommend in that second node. My role is under pressure kill clip, and kill clip grants around 33% more bonus damage reloading after a kill. This brings your critical damage to 60 and your body to 43, and I say this because using a sidearm, cleanups happen. You're mobile with them, you can get kills using this thing, it's not impossible. The body TTK is similar to a hand cannon's time to kill. And not to mention, if you get someone weak, you can one burst to clean them up, but it's the kill clip after that that matters the most and really elevates it. This makes a double headshot do 120 and a double body shot do 86. Or if you do within the burst, one headshot, one body shot, that's 103. This allows you to get a 2 burst kill, and that's where you really need to be for this thing to be viable and somewhat competitive at all. When you get a 4 shot kill, or a 2 burst in this archetype's case, your time to kill is 0.55 seconds, and now we're talking. That's starting to sound really good, and that deletes players quickly. But only then you'll feel like these 2 burst aggressives are worth using. And to me, that's the only highlight, because when you look at sidearms, the 3 round bursts are extremely good, lightweights like Anonymous Autumn are really good, these 2 burst sidearms got inserted into the game, and to this day are lost within the game without a place. Then of course, there are shotguns in enemy players' hands. It's a rough spot. When I've been using these, I've been using things like Chromatic Fire on the Warlock, the Trick Sleeves on the Hunter, just fun things. And just like in the opening clip, the Trick Sleeves came in clutch for me. We got a Wii Ran. And the Trick Sleeves add essentially the Kill Clip buff, so you can get Kill Clip with one of these sidearms, and then stack the Trick Sleeves buff on top of that, you can get a 3 bullet kill for a .36 time to kill. So if you choose to use them, it should be with Kill Clip, and that's the only way I use this thing when I throw it on. I switch things up in the Crucible, so if you're like me, and you're looking to try something a little bit different in your next Quick Play session, give this thing a go, but be mindful of its limitations. Be looking out for a max 3 burst kill, and importantly, again, use it with Kill Clip, otherwise, you aren't missing out on anything. So there it is, it got its 5 minutes of frame, it has issues, and who knows if Shadowkeep will even bring any more of these. It's always worth it to keep one though, cause who knows if these get a buff in the future, an RPM increase, a damage increase, if they do, you're gonna be ready. As it sits currently, it's not really a good look. If you're new to the channel, remember to hit the subscribe button. If you are subscribed, thank you guys so much for your continued support. Remember to like and comment if you guys see fit. What do you think of these aggressive burst sidearms? Are there any of you out there that use them consistently? Thank you for watching, and until the next one, I am Cool Guy.